what's up flavor squad it's your girl fashionisha here to give you all the flavor if you are new here make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe if you are not new here i thank you so much for coming back to my video today we're going to make a two-piece set from this hoodie these are the materials that you would need so let's get right into it i'm first going to start off by removing this string from the top of the hoodie i'm going to use this string later on for the shorts I then go in and begin to cut the hoodie in half and I'm taking about an inch from under the arm and that's where I've cut across. So once the hoodie is separated, I'm going to take my seam ripper and remove the pocket from the bottom of the hood and also remove the bottom band. So when you're done seam ripping, you should have four different pieces. The top of the hoodie, the pocket, the midpoint, and the bottom band. And you can just throw that pocket out for something later. I'm now going to go in and trace a pair of my favorite shorts. You want to pick a pair of shorts that fit you well, that you love to fit on, because your next shorts, the shorts you're making, are going to fit almost exactly like them. I didn't trace the band area because we're going to be adding our own band in the end, so we don't really need that part. Once you trace out your pair of shorts, you want to just cut out that pattern that you just made. I added a little bit of room because I didn't want the shorts to be too, too short. So I added a little bit of space at the top. I'm then going to take my pattern that I just traced and add it on, to, on top of the rest of the fabric and cut out two more pieces just like this. Once you're done cutting, you should have four separate pieces for the back and the front of your shorts. We're now going to pin our shorts where we'll be sewing and we will be sewing on the side of the shorts in that little area in the middle for both pattern pieces. I 
I will be sewing with a zigzag stitch so that we can have the stretch in our fabric. Always sew with a zigzag stitch for stretchy fabric. When you're sewing, you want to get as close to the end as possible so that you can mirror an overlock stitch. If you have a serger, this part will be easier for you because you can just serge and it will give you that overlock look. Our next step, once our side and end seams are sewn, is to sew the crotch area together. So we're just gonna pin those together from the inside. This part may look difficult, but I promise you it's not. We're literally just putting the crotch area together and sewing straight down the middle. When you're done pinning, this is what it should look like. Make sure that it is pinned as flat as possible so that when you're sewing, you won't have anything in the way. Right now, this is what the shorts look like, but we're about to make magic, sis. Once again, make sure you're sewing with a zigzag stitch and mimicking the overlock stitch method by staying as close as possible to the end of your fabric. Now we're gonna go back to that band we had from the hoodie. And you want to put the band around your waist just to measure out how much of the band you're actually needing to use. And once you find that spot, just simply cut it off. The next step is to attach our band to the shorts. And with this, we're gonna mark four spots on our band. We're gonna mark the front of the band, the back of the band, and the two side areas of the band. This just makes it easier to attach your band to your shorts so that it won't be all twisted and wonky on the inside. Once you're done, you don't wanna look at the shorts and be like, why did it look like that? So that just helps for better placement of the band. So that front mark that, we're made, that we made, we're gonna put it to the front seam of the shorts. The back mark we made, we're gonna put it together with the back seam of the shorts. The side marks that we made, we're gonna put them together with the side seams of the shorts. It's that simple. Once you're done, this is what it should look like, and we're gonna simply sew with a zigzag stitch all the way around the shorts. Now, when you're sewing your band onto your shorts, it's a little different from what we were previously doing. You want to make sure you're using the pull method when sewing so that your band could be as flat as possible to the shorts. Once you're done sewing, this is what your shorts will look like. Now, I told you guys that at the beginning, I wanted to use that string that we had on the hoodie for the shorts. So I simply marked two dots an inch apart and I cut a hole in them. Once 
with the string it was too long so i had to cut i measured out how long i wanted the string to hang and then i cut that in half and i simply sewed those strings together once i cut them just with a straight stitch it didn't matter Then I put the string through those holes and tied a cute bow. Once you're done, this is what your shorts should look like. Now with my hoodie sis, you know I had to add a little dynamic flavor. So I decided to embroider my logo onto the hoodie right in the middle, really small. I really feel like it was a key detail and it just made my two piece hoodie set different from the rest. And it came out really good, y'all. I really loved it. So if you see me wearing this in a future video, do not be surprised. <laughs> if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe for more videos like this. If you guys want me to make anything, just let me know in the comments down below. Flavor Squad, thank you so much for coming back to my video. Make sure you guys turn on that notification bell. <laughs> May your curls pop and your grind never stop, Flavor Squad. I am out of here.